Here's what I'm going to show you in this video. Multi-row calculations in Tableau Prep. They're fairly new and they're beneficial for a whole range of reasons. So let's take a look. My name's Tim and I'm a member of the 45th Data School cohort here at the Information Lab. And first of all, I want to give you some reasons to use them. After all, Tableau already has table calculations that you can use on your visits easily. So what's the point of doing them in Tableau Prep instead? Well, I can give you three just off the top of my head. Number one, if you're the only data prepper around, but every analyst is going to want to know the calculation result, why have a dozen separate dashboards using up power on the same calculation when you can do it once and hand it out to them? Number two, filters and table calcs don't always work well together. While there are absolutely times when you'll want them pairing up, it's often not helpful when a monthly moving average gets broken just because the user's only interested in the summer months. And three, it's just so easy. Let me show you. We'll use the Superstore sample dataset because there are a lot of ways of playing around with it. And we'll take the role of a regional manager who wants to know how many orders have been placed in the past four months to remove a part of seasonal variance. Now, I've loaded the data up here, and I'm already taking steps to aggregate it some of the way. They'll be detailed in the description below, but essentially I've got the total number of orders broken down by month, year, and region. And now it's time to create that new calculated field. So let's come back to the profile pane, and since it's the order count, field that we want to use as the basis for our calculation. Let's click on the three dots here, come down to create calculated field and choose moving calculation. And this is where it becomes so much easier here than it would be in Tableau desktop because it's just so much more visual and you can see exactly what's going on as soon as you do it. We're choosing to group by region, we're ordering by year and then by month. It already knows that we want to compute it with order count. And as far as the results go, we can choose to sum or take the average and use the values. We can choose the previous three and the current one, which gives us four months in total. Finally, we'll just rename it over here to four month running total. And then we'll click Done. And there we go. A full month running total calculated really simply in Tableau Prep. So what we can do now is load it up in Tableau and take a look. I hope you don't mind, but I've jumped ahead a few steps. We've got all our data loaded here, and I've started building a worksheet. We've got year and month in our columns field up here. But let's bring in now the four month running total and take a look at that. And that looks exactly as we would expect it to. Now, the reason I've broken it up like this is because we can compare it with a table calculation. As I was saying earlier, there are other benefits to doing it in Tableau Prep besides just the easiness of it. Let's drag the order count up here as well. But instead of that, make a table calculation. And we can see here that they look pretty much as we'd like them to. Or do they? Let's just bring these together, make these dual axis. And now what we can do, though, is bring in our filters. Because you may have remembered I mentioned earlier that there can be problems with a filter. So let's just drag the order month on here. And let's say we don't want to look at January or February. Let's take a look at those. And now we see that there are problems with Tableau's table calculation. Because it's only looking at what's actually in the visualization, the moving sum that it's got here in orange is being changed. Whereas the four month running total that we're taking directly from Tableau Prep is exactly as it always should have been. And that 
is yet another reason to use Tableau Prep to make our moving calculations. So I hope that's got you quite excited about moving calculations in Tableau Prep. If you enjoyed this video, I think you'd absolutely love the related how-to video by my fellow data schooler. Click on the thumbnail in the bottom right to watch it next. And subscribe to this channel to get notified when we release new videos. Thanks very much once again.